Hello, my darlings. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to level up on how to draw realistic people. Your goal is not to memorize every tip that I'm about to give you, but to pick up a few that's going to help you. So there is something called the golden ratio in faces, which means that really to draw a face is not guesswork, but it is math. So let me teach you a few tips that's going to help. If you have a ruler, that can help you even more, but I'm going to do it in a little bit of a cheater way to make it a little faster. We're gonna start with the eyes. So think about where you think eyes are on the head. Most of you have a tendency to draw them really high, but really eyes are in the middle of your head. To find out where the middle-ish is, I'm going to take a um, one finger from the top, one finger to the bottom, and I'm going to travel, bink, and they meet here in the middle. Boop, I can make a little mark that I will eventually erase. I'm even going to level up by making a slight curved line because your head is, you guessed it, curved. So that's actually going to be where your eyes are. The trickiest part of eyes is to draw one hat or one just like the other. So another tip is your head is about five eyes wide. So if you had five eyes, they'd be lined up. So I'm going to kind of guess And I divided that line into five sections. One, two, three, four, five. And they're equal-ish. Again, we're not actually using a ruler, just so that we can go a little bit faster. When you are drawing your eyes, I like to draw the top half and then the bottom half. Your eyes are not that big. You can think of them as an oval shape. You can think of them as a football shape, which is a little bit more advanced, or you can think of them like a lemon shape, which is even more advanced. So go back and forth. Do you see that I'm sketching, meaning I'm drawing very lightly? Okay, I'm pressing a little bit darker so you can see. And I'm going back and forth to try to make it a little bit better shape. They're not perfect because I'm not perfect. When you're happy with the outside shape of not really what your what is your eye, but of what's your eyelid covering your eye, holding your eye in your head, you are ready for the second part of the eye, the iris. The iris is the colored part of the eye. Your iris is usually, unless you have gigantic eyes, covered partially by your eyelids. Your iris is a colored part, and in real life, it is a funnel. It gets bigger when you are in the dark, so more light can get inside your eye. And when it's bright, like if you're in the sun, it shrinks. And, oh gosh, I'm saying the wrong thing. Um, it, it stays the same, but it's your pupil that shrinks and gets bigger. Whoopsie, I said the wrong thing. Pardon me. All right, so there's my iris. Again, it's just a partial circle, and it's your iris that shrinks and gets larger. Your iris is actually how you see. Your iris is the black part, excuse me. Gosh, I'm tripping over my words. I'm so sorry, everybody. Your pupil is how you see. Again, that's the black part, your pupil. And in real life, your pupil is a circle shape, but I'm making it as a C shape because your eyes are so shiny. Your eyes are shiny because they're about 90% water versus your rest of your body is about 70% water. So that is actually how you see. And really it's just a black hole in your head that has a lens covering it. So there are some eyes and I'll go ahead and break eyebrows later. But right now I'm going to pause and let you work. All right, everybody. Let's start on the nose. To make the nose, you're going to start at the eye line, go to the chin line, and you are going to, you guessed it, meet in the middle, just like we did for the eyes. So I'm going to make another line right here. Oh my gosh, it lines up at the back of my, or the bottom of your ears, and the eyes line up where your ears begin. Imagine that. That is part of the golden ratio. All right, everybody. So your nose. People always are asking me how to draw noses that aren't L shapes. This is how to draw a nose. Make sure you've got a handy pencil because you're going to erase part of it. To draw a nose, you're going to make a circle here. Your nose, by the way, is about the width of your, where your eye space is. Like that is how big your nose is. All right. 
So I've got my circle, it kind of looks like a clown. And connected to that circle, it's kind of like C shapes or bean shapes. All right. So still looks a little funny and that's because I need to take the top of my pencil and erase and all of a sudden, voila. I can even erase those guidelines if you made them. If you want it to look even more realistic, again, from those top lines where your eyes start, I'm gonna have kind of a curved line in. I don't even do all of it. And there's sort of like the bridge of your nose, all right? If those guidelines are throwing you off, you can just get rid of them, no problem. You don't really need them anymore. Okay, so next for the golden ratio on the face is, once again, go to the bottom of the nose, go to the bottom of the chin, and go to the middle, boop, one more line. And I bet you know what's gonna go here is your lips. So you are going to know how, excuse me, to know how long your lips are or how wide your lips are from the middle of your eye. Beep, 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 beep. Looks kind of like they're crying. Beep, 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 beep. But that's about the width of your, uh, 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 what am I trying to say? Your mouth. Okay, guys, so to make your mouth, I'm gonna leave that line to become the bottom, actually, of my lips. I'm going to make another line right above it, all the way, the length of my eyes. Gosh, this looks like Mr. Clean so far. So that's gonna be the middle, the crack of my lips to make my bottom lip. It's like a boat in the water. So I've got that little line that I started and it doesn't even have to go to the very edge, okay? See how it kind of looks like a boat sitting in the water? And then I need to put my boat with a couple mountains. That's the top lip. I like to start with a little dip by making a slight curve. And then I could make my mountains go down. Okay. So that is how to do most of the things on the face. We're going to move to the top half. For the top half of the head, we need to put some eyebrows, and I don't remember the exact math for um, the eyebrows, but I'm gonna start at the edge of my eye, make a little line, and it goes to the end of your eye, a little arch. If you put them on and they look really high, then um, your, your face looks really surprised, then you just have to move them down a little bit, all right? Notice that I didn't just make little hairs, I made a shape, okay. But what I really want to talk to you about is hair. So like this one, I'm gonna have half of it with a short haircut and then half of it with a long haircut. I'm not gonna do any shading or anything. Okay, so this is what I often see are people just sticking it on the very top of your head. Well then, my friends, you have a receding hairline. So I'm gonna put a part by making a slightly curved line. Oh my gosh, it's going down into the head. That's what you want. Your hairline is actually going to be from your ears. You do not have a bald ring around your head. Touch your ears or right above your ears. That's where your hair is. I'm gonna draw, before, before you do this, you can just draw. It's actually a third of the way down, but again, we're not gonna do the math. And that is basically, your, your hair is here, all right? It's not just on top of your head. But I like to do the part, slightly curved, and then I can go ahead and make a short haircut and a long haircut. To make a short haircut, a little ways on top of your head, I'm gonna make a zigzag-ish line down to touch my ears. You don't wanna have it just on the very tippy top of your head because then you've got some greasy hair, my friends. And then I could put any hair that falls off of your hairline with the same type of zigzag cut. Do not just make gray lines, then you're giving your person gray hair unless that's what you wanna go for. If you want to make longer hair, again, you're drawing shapes. You can draw a shape, you can go over the ears, you can draw a shape, you can draw a shape. And then to make it look a little more realistic, you can add a few hairlines. Again, not much because you don't want to give yourself gray hair. Same here, shorter though because you got shorter hair. All right. 
So that's just some tips to how to make a face. And the last thing I want to point out are the shoulders. Your shoulders do not just drop off, all right? Your head is the, or your shoulders are like a whole head's length over here and a whole head's length over here. Golden ratio once again. In other words, your shoulders actually go off your page. Think about a hanger, a hanger that you like hang your clothes on. Those are supposed to be the shape of your shoulder. It's almost like a triangle. So that's the actual shape of your shoulders. And, oh gosh, they're nude. I'm gonna put a little shirt on. All right, guys. So that's really what I wanted to show you. I hope you got some good tips and I can't wait to see what you make today. Happy arting.